On any given day back in 2010, we put at least 70,000 juveniles in detention centers, which shows you that we are the leading country when it comes to incarcerating our youth, and that has some serious consequences. So these two economists by the name of Ann Iser and Joseph Doyle decided to look into whether or not putting young people in juvenile detention centers actually helps them with their future. And you guys already know the answer to yeah, this. I was gonna, can I guess? Can I, ooh, ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh. Let's put them with a bunch of criminals and see how they turn out. So you guys already know how how this is gonna you know turn out but uh, I think that their study was still really interesting because they looked into uh, Chicago Illinois and they noticed that young people will get different punishments for the same crime so let's say uh, you know one person is caught for theft uh, some judges are more lenient so they'll give uh, the young person community service or maybe house arrest but another judge might be more strict and the young person will get time in a juvenile detention center. So what they did is they compared and contrasted these people for the exact same crime. And here's what they found out. The kids who ended up incarcerated were 13 percentage points less likely to graduate from high school and 22 percent percentage points more likely to end up back in prison as adults than the kids who went to court but were placed under home monitoring instead. So let's understand a couple of things. Uh, number one, we're not talking about murderers and rapists, right? Yeah. I mean, some people are obviously going to go to prison, even no matter how young they are, etc. We're talking about the cases that are in the middle. Yes, where we're you talking have about nonviolent drug offenses. We're talking about vandalism, theft, burglary, whatever it's stuff like that. It's crazy to send kids to juvenile detention for nonviolent drug offenses or vandalism. You're going to ruin their lives. And, and if you don't care about the kids at all and you're one of those, oh, lock them up, throw away the key, which is, by the way, exactly what Rush Limbaugh used to say about drug addicts before we found out he was a drug addict, right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, let's say you're, even if you're in that category, well, look at the numbers. So many of those kids are going to, so many more of those kids are going to wind up back in prison and cost you a lot of money as a taxpayer, right? Now, does that help? Or they could have gone to school and contribute to the economy and contribute to taxes. So even if you're a person who doesn't give a damn about kids and their future and whatever, and you believe in strict justice, etc., it's going to cost you a lot of money and society a lot. Yeah. Of money. So let me give you an exact number: six billion dollars a year is what it costs to uh, run our juvenile correction centers. So now that's the overall number for correction centers yes. for juveniles. Now some percentage of that could be obviously deducted if you don't send them to those centers, instead you do some of the other forms of punishment, by the way, uh -huh. that are real and significant, right? And plus, you will save when they don't come back to adult prisons, and you'll save the money from that as well. And usually what happens, and it's very similar to what happens in adult prisons, these young people will get sent away to juvenile detention centers, and then they actually learn about real crime. They make friends in those uh, juvenile detention centers, and then they're more likely to come out and, and do some of the violent crime that they might have experienced when they were behind bars. So it's actually uh, counterproductive, and that's why you have a high recidivism rate. I mean, we see that with our adult prisons all the time. It's less about rehabilitating people and more about creating these violent criminals uh, when they come in as nonviolent criminals. Right, you know? I mean, there's two other criminals. aspects. There's two other aspects to this. <clears throat> One is in some of the states where they have private prisons, they think, yeah. Exactly. Win-win. Yeah. More prisoners today, even more prisoners tomorrow, more profits for them, right? So you can't privatize a prison. It's insanity. And second of all, this study didn't even take into account a story we did last week where we uh, showed the number of kids who get raped inside those uh, detention centers by the guards. Yep. So not only do you have the, the problem of teaching violence, etc., from the other juveniles, uh, that are some of the serious criminals that are in there, and then you've got the problem with the guards.